just can't seem to grow up. I said, I just can't seem to grow up. But you know what? What? I don't think I want All right, to. Now follow me here. Uh, 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 yeah. Uh, uh. Sorry, kind of zoned out a bit. Um, haven't been really sleeping that much. Um, I think Creepy Santa may actually be alive. Um, I know it's stupid and silly to think that a plastic doll, not even a plastic doll, a plastic Santa would unable to articulate Let's just, let's just move on. Let's just go to the gameplay. Um, I'm sorry. I'm, if, I, if I seem out of it, guys, it's, uh, I think it's, I swear. I swear, it's like, it's like, oh God, it reminds me of something. I just can't quite pinpoint it. It's like I've experienced it before, but I don't know where. Anyways, let's get on to Sonic 3. Released in February of 1993, Sonic the Hedgehog 3 is another installment in the Sonic franchise. Improving on the platforming action, Sonic and Tails now have individual moves along with a save function. Sonic 3 was well received with great praise from critics selling over 1 million copies and ported to various systems. Okay, time for Sonic the Hedgehog 1. Part 3. Whatever. Sorry, I'm still zoning out here. And now it's time for this. Hey, look! What do you what do you know? We could play as Sonic Tails. We're playing Tails, bitches. <laughs> because Tails is cool. I wonder if you could actually do. I've already. Yeah, you can float as Tails. That's right. Three always introduced this cool concept for me. I thought where you could play as Tails. Uh, like I said, the last game. I adore Tails. Toil. Ta to Toils. Toils. The the alternate to Tails. Uh, I love Tails. Uh, as a character, and I think it's cool. One thing also notice, the level design is way different. We don't have a Green Hills anymore. We have sort of a amalgamation of the two. It's really different, and I like it a lot. Uh, so let's experience this a bit more, people. Oh, look, at, look at this, we have different mechanics. We, things happen. Things are way different now. Like three, I think they got a lot right. Uh, three was, like, I guess two was just sort of like, oh, we got to release two, we didn't have a sequel. Uh, but three, like, is totally, look at this. Look at all the stuff you can do. What's this? I don't even know what that is. Let's find out. I mean, that's what's cool about three, is that three had this sort of, you know, exploration thing. Uh, you can float. Oh my god, you have a bubble? You can float in the bubble. Let's look at that. That is slick as hell. This, again, this was the game at its, this was, I think, Sonic at its finest, is this game. Look at that. Tell me that doesn't seem cool. Oh my god, we were already at a boss. Or something. Oh no. Oh my god, they burned the... Holy Jesus, look at this. So, we just literally went... This is kind of cool, guys. I mean, I'm not saying it's like, that yeah, what's interesting. I'm just saying this is... We've changed the mechanics drastically again. Um, so yeah, Sonic 3, as you guys can already tell, like, if, if you haven't been paying attention for the past five minutes, uh, they upped everything. Uh, they upped the graphics, they upped the, the art style. They upped um, how you played it. You could actually save this time go around. Uh, and, and so they definitely, they definitely did a lot more. Um, let's get up there. There we go. Oh, no, 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 no. There we go. Ah, uh, floating his tails is definitely worth it all. I, I always love, I, again, I always love when tails like ran and dashed is his, his sort of, uh, his uh, tails would sort of flip around. I think three is where it's at. If you want to play, you know, two, go on ahead. But 
I think three is where everything is at in this game. There we go. I will say Tails' flying ability gets a little is a little bit to get used to. But at least prevents you from sort of abusing it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kind of zoning out, guys. One, I'm, I'm appreciating the game, but two, I am still put off by that blasted creepy Santa. Uh, like, I know you guys don't necessarily see anything outside the show, but, like, that thing scares the crap out of me. Like, at times, I swear, it glows gold. I wish I could explain it too. I mean, it's just, it's just a plastic. Look at this. We have, we've just got done with this world. Uh, huh, where do I go now? It's weird. I think I'm supposed to break that? There you go. Uh, even, even the level transition's clean. Here it is, get the blue sphere. Nope, see, I already screwed it up. I will say this, uh, the first game had the best um, special stages. I'm, I'm, I'm a huge, bigger fan of the, cha the way you get in the chaos symbols. Um, sorry. Uh, but I like this, I like the fact that it, it does this sort of weird thing. You literally are already continuing, you, you didn't stop, you, you just kept playing. Uh, and it made for an interesting um, transition. Uh, which I liked, I thought it was cool. I thought it was unique and different and peculiar. Uh, not peculiar. Um, but back to Creepy Santa, that thing, I swear it glows gold and stares in my soul. It's freaky as hell. And it has nothing to do with Sonic, but it's been on my mind to the point where I can't even concentrate on things. Uh, I'm definitely losing sleep. Uh, and I'm just, I don't know what to do. Because ultimately it's an irrational fear. It's a plastic Santa Claus. I mean, everyone's seen it. It doesn't do anything. But I could have sworn when the power went out last ep last time that um, I could have sworn I saw it, but I don't have proof. It just sort of was. And I could have sworn I heard it. Like I was talking about something, like something about the trials and going into my mind. I wish I could explain it. Oh well, I won't think too much about it. I'm just gonna play Sonic the Hedgehog 3 as my favorite character, Tails. Uh, sadly, we won't get a chance to really look at uh, uh, Chaos and, uh, and uh, specific Knuckles. Uh, the, I think, Anna, uh, I, I forget, uh, the Incha, in, in, I can't really pronounce what animal he is, uh, because I'm terrible at pronouncing words. Uh, but he adds a cool mechanic, too, like, in terms of, of wall climbing and things like that. And what's interesting about the, the, there's a, a technology that came out, look at this, I'm already finding levels galore. Alright, let's get the blue spheres. God damn it! Terrible of these things. Never gonna, I'm never gonna win. I'm never gonna score. Um, but again, I like how this game never took you out of the action. Uh, I again, I think this is where they got everything down right. Uh, it wouldn't be, they wouldn't, I think, in my opinion, do um, something like this again until. Uh, Sonic CD, which, again, having the the Sega CD space to do things with, made for a very, very interesting game. Uh, I think that's what it, what happened with these last ones. I, ha I I'm trying to remember what. I have to definitely check what years came out of, and, and maybe talk about this more in a supplemental video. 
Um, but I really think that, that something caused them to have to up their game. Uh, the, if you guys think the console wars between the PS4 and Xbox One are intensive, uh, think again when it came to the Super Nintendo and Sega Genesis. It was intensive. And, and you know, we talk about now exclusive titles being the big thing. Um, there are sometimes titles that would never ever see the other side or would be drastically different um, from the other side in terms of exclusivity. So, because of that, I think we had a, a lot more at stake sometimes with games in terms of having to make sure things uh, popped quickly and, and, and got the player's attention uh, because you, have, you had so much at stake to lose uh, as a developer. Here we are, mid-level boss. Holy crap, look at that thing. It's gonna eat me. It's gonna eat me. It's gonna eat me. Look at that, it'll eat me. At least this time go around, they don't make you have to collect 100 rings to make sure you get the uh, bonus level. Love that, I love that. that that um the tail spinning i think that's such a cool effect and i think we got maybe one more life and then that'll be it for now but that doesn't mean you guys should play this game uh, i recommend everyone play sonic the hedgehog 3 if not just just once especially if you've never played it um, it is one of the better Sonic games. Like I said, I think they, they got everything right with this one. Uh, that they would not improve upon, really, until Sonic CD. Um, and again, just because it's so gorgeous as a game. Um, I mean, yeah, it's a 16-bit game, it's pretty good to that, but I think that... Uh, I think the legacy with Sonic, though, honestly, is sort of that cool factor in games. Sort of that one thing that, you know, I'm a Nintendo kid, and I, I'll say this admittedly. Uh, it just never, as much as I love Nintendo and certain things in Nintendo, it never seemed to have the same kind of cool cachet that Sega did. Not that Sega was any better or worse, it just never seemed to have it. But we are out of time, guys, so... Thank you for watching. Of course, stick around and catch my final summation on Sonic the Hedgehog 3. Sonic 3 is a great improvement over the second one. It's fast, pretty, with innovative levels. It makes it way easier to play as Tails and keeps the action going at a good pace. Though it can't replace the love I have for the first one, it's a great sequel and a perfect addition to the franchise. So do these Sonic games stand the test of time? Well, if we take the original mission of Sonic just simply being a Sega mascot, I'd say it succeeded and then some. With 3D games, mobile to free play games, racing games, stuffed dolls, hell and anime, and two American cartoons, I'd say Sonic is pretty much a household name. But what about the games? How do they stand up? It's not to say that games aren't still fun. They're great platformers. It's just, well... We've expanded on the world of platformers since the original Sonic. With puzzle games like Fez or hard and fast ones like Super Meat Boy, we've done a lot with the format and are doing more all the time. So then what is Sonic's legacy? What mark did the blue streak leave on the world? In my opinion, the same mark Mario, Link, or even Donkey Kong has left. He's become part of our pop culture. And you know, sometimes that's all you need to do. Thanks for watching this week's show. Of course, you can catch all of our previous episodes and join in on the discussion at our website, cosmicgrey.tv slash RetroFunTime. There you'll find links to the social pages, all the Twitters, the Google Pluses, the Facebooks, the previous episodes, and anything else that revolves around this show of ours. And of course, if you're watching on iTunes, make sure to give us a good rating or just let us know what the hell you think. We read the reviews very intensively, so don't worry, you will, your opinion will not be go un, will not be go, will not go unheard. And I'm super excited for next week's episode. I am super excited for next episode, I should say, because uh, we are about to play my favorite game. We're going to talk about Earthbound. You know, come to think of it, 
Earthbound kind of has this weird thing, this sort of statue that comes up called the Mani Mani statue. It's sort of this golden statue that you find as you're sort of playing the game. It actually becomes a very um, evil thing. It actually is sort of for Gygus. You know, come to think of it, you know, now, now that I mention it out loud, you know, the Mani Mani statue is kind of like creepy. What the? Power went out again? Up. Ah! Oh! <laughs>